almost like you have to wait for them to leave the room and then you can go in yeah. and the tree. Just, you might want to re just re-sew it. Just, you can just re-sew up to the yeah. can't you, up to the fold. I haven't got my... Um, I haven't got my fancy plate on, you see. So While I'm you do that, I'm just going to grab the owl and the fox there we go. panel. There we go, that's fixed. Sorry, it's not a fox, it's an owl and a stag. A stag. And you've got the circular motifs there. So you've got the stag. Do you know what I'd want to do? I'm thinking, make that up as the clock and then add some three-dimensional little bauble little beads yeah, or something be hanging yeah. or even lights lights you could little do fairy little lights. fairy lights yeah, yeah. you know the ones on wires yeah. battery operated stick that around the back as well you've got your numbers you've got all your inspirational this is a winter clock isn't it this is something you can have up well there's two there's two you're getting both 1498 and you get your clock mechanism Remember now, you can't buy the clock mechanism on its own. The only way you're going to get the clock mechanism is by buying one of the kits or two of the kits. So maybe you want to make both winter clocks, but um, you don't want to buy two lots of panels. If you get the winter kit, okay, the brand new one, and you got, say, for example, the pastel rainbow, you'd get two clock mechanisms, two panels. You can always put the rainbow pastel to one side, make both of your winter ones up now, and then wait until we get the clocks back in stock, yeah, and then you can go back, yeah. but make the ones that are seasonal now. Yeah, I would. Do you know what I mean? But also, I think even the owl and the stag one, those could be all year round, they can't they? Because yeah. it's they're that type of, um, feel that type of vibe is mm -hmm. quite trendy it's quite yeah. in at the moment you know if you go around certain big fancy shops you'll mm -hmm. see those type of designs. which fancy shops do you go around oh i don't go anywhere fancy <laughs> barely leave the village only leave the village to come here now come on we were discussing our favorite champagnes earlier on oh i love champagne. this is not this is not the champagne lifestyle that i'm imagining you live <laughs> where everything is fabulous and it's just one long party after another <laughs> i wish <laughs> no, I wish. Oh. No, I um, no, I if I'm not sewing in my room, I'm doing the school run at Sainsbury's. Being a warrior. Do, doing warrior. Yeah. And um. So you say doing a warrior? I say being a warrior. Being a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> um, I imagine you're going doing the shopping and being like, rah! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Delphine's here. My life's here. very, very um, yeah. Although I've, I've just been living in my sewing room. I love my new sewing mm. room. Oh, yeah, because so, you had an extension built. Yeah, we had it purposely built, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just a wasted space otherwise. It was just between the, ga the garages. And it it's was not just being wasted now, is it? It certainly isn't. Hey? No. Look at that, really coming together now. Very impressed that you have managed to keep track of those blades. That beautiful what a backdrop and then of course you don't need the numbers do you if you if you have it with the point at the top there's your 12 there's your one two and three that's it very Easy piece yeah. but yeah so very important to sew them together mm -hmm. in the three so you've got your quarters yep. so now i'm going to sew these two quarters together mm -hmm. I suppose as well things like do you need the numbers do you need the lines you can quilt those on you could yeah. embroider those on mm -hmm. yeah then you could keep the numbers for the things that, you know whether you mm. keep the, the numbers that you want to make for a birthday present mm. you know you keep them for like the ages or things yeah. like that great idea 